actually turned away, may have turned away a potential new client because I received the question, I don't have a Facebook account. Mm -hmm. Should I get a Facebook account? And you know, I kind of have to tap into my client experience. Those who are the most successful are tapped into the page. Well, it's true. And what I tell them is that, you know, when you make the switch to this lifestyle, especially initially, mm -hmm. sometimes your social life can take a hit. Sometimes your friends will stop inviting you because mm -hmm. you're not drinking anymore. Right. Um, and it's too uncomfortable for them. So it's nice to have a community of people that you can sort of form some friendships and some bonds with that are on the same journey. And then the other thing is, if the coach is unavailable, if it's a weekend, if you just want a new way to cook chicken, it can be anything that you can post on the page. And yeah, I mean, I definitely agree that my most successful clients have been tapped into the page. I've had a couple that, are, that do okay without it. Um, I think men are better than women in that sense. I do have a male client who's, um, who's been successful without. It yeah. is the exception of the Yeah, world. but I've even told a few clients that, um, you know, when they come in, they're like, oh, I don't have Facebook and I don't want to be on it. I'm like, you can create a fake profile. Like, yes. I don't care if you tell, you tell me you're, you know, you're Benny and Neighbors and that's not your name. I can at least then add you to the page and you can... You know, you don't have to tell anybody else you created it, but then you'll at least have access to the content and be able to post if you need to. You'll have access to all the right. recipes, you know, the workouts and things like that. So I, I agree. I definitely think that they do better when they're plugged in. They do. I've advised others to proceed with caution because, you know, if they don't have the social media account and like you said, they don't, they're not as plugged in. Um, there's so many benefits about the page. I had a client a few weeks ago who was fairly new and we were finishing a coaching session and she said, oh, I wanted to mention the biggest surprise to this process. And I'm not a social media person, but I'm finding myself checking in on a page 15 minutes in the morning, mm -hmm. checking on a page 15 minutes at night, off and on throughout the day. She said, I can't believe how supportive it's, it's been the best surprise. Oh, so that's great. It's a testament for, for its success. Um, and I think the other important point is you don't have to be commenting on every post. Everything. I have some who are flies on the wall. Uh -huh. And, and you can turn the notifications off. off. I tell them that too. Like, yes. If it's too many notifications, you can shut them down. So you can scroll it at your leisure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You and comforting to too. You know, I, I think there are a lot of folks out there who come onto the page and they may not be a veteran. They're new. And they right. think that some of the questions and the fears and the concerns that they have are theirs and theirs alone. Yeah. And nothing is is further no from the truth yeah. yeah we all struggle with the same things and i think too you know a lot of the coaches like you know you and i will both post post our struggles on the page mm -hmm. and share that with our clients and um i've got a lot of feedback when we do that of, oh you know thank you guys so much for letting us know you're not superhuman like it, it the chocolate does kind of tempt you every once in a while or you do you know whatever it is the social situations can be hard for you guys or you're not always you know super focused and in the box weighing everything right. out and whatever it is Right. Yeah. I heard a few this week. Thank God Chelsea mentioned her struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea has a lot of struggle. We all do. <laughs> okay. That's right. I love that. Yeah.